What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? Got the AD this on. Feel me? This is about, uh, you know, Mid State. Uh, this is about Mid State when I was in Mid State. I saw a lot of, while I was in Down State, I saw a lot of varieties of different, um, uh, There, you know, different varieties of, you know, COs. You know what I'm saying? I see different. I saw different varieties of different COs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, different varieties of COs. So, Puerto Ricans. Dominicans, but really most of them is white COs and they racist as hell. Uh, so, so, I went to Miss State, so let me tell you the process of going. So, they call you like two days before you go to your official me prison whatever prison I'm in a low security prison and it, I'm in a low security prison and it's like I mean I, I, I tell you so I took all my property out myself all my state greens everything out myself and I went to the, to the people, they tie your shit up and put that shit on the bus. So I saw in the paper when I signed my name on the paper, it says, uh, what, what it says, um, mistake. It's all oh, going to mistake. So when I went back to my cell, I, all my cellies, it was like, yo, where you going? I said, I'm going to mistake, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, all right. All right, yo. One of them dudes said, yo, they got like, you know what I mean, skinheads over there ready to beat a nigga up, up in this state. I ain't know that shit was true. I said, I don't think this shit is true, my nigga, because I don't know nothing about this jail shit, my nigga. Because y'all niggas move. Y'all some corny ass niggas, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Niggas, they, America has made prison movies, my nigga. And they see that everybody's cool with one another. The, the problem is not amongst the inmates. The real problem is amongst the, the COs. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, you see prison movies, you think prison is just a laid back spot. You just in the third world country, y'all eating, sharing food with each other, y'all eating together. It's not like that, my nigga. So let me get to the story, right? So I went to Miss State, and I took the bus. I went to the cell before going to the bus. Called your name, from the whatever. And everybody was talking, like I mean, some niggas, some, some built niggas was talking, you know. I'm like, uh, can you shut the fuck up? Really? You talking talking about a bunch of nonsense. Like, niggas don't even want to hear that. My nigga, like, talk something else. Like, I know you niggas talk about rap. Talk about some bitches. Talk about something, nigga. You know what I mean? Talk about God. Whatever, my nigga. So, I'm like, yo, right, I'm on the bus. I ain't thought this mistake gonna be all bad, you know? Uh, let me tell you the story, okay? So I went on the bus, boom, I met to my nigga, um, Jesus. A, a, a Dominican nigga named Jesus. I don't know what he's in jail for. He's a good guy. You know what I mean? He don't get in no trouble. He's like a good guy. So I'm just going in. So I'm sitting down some long ass ride, and it had to stop. It stopped at the, um, the ride. Stop at the fucking um, Starbucks. You know, we go on the highway. They got the um, the stop. You know what I mean? To take a break, and they got all the 
They got this like this mall with different restaurants. It has Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King, and all that. One of the fat COs, he was black. He, he got this nigga bought a frappuccino, a caramel frappuccino. You know what I mean? He bought a caramel frappuccino. I'm like, yo, you know how you know how many carbs and sugar and the caramel frappuccino? You get diabetes just drink that's a dog that's worse than Kool-Aid, that frappuccino, man. You can make the Kool-Aid healthy, but you use a Splenda, but like that that thing is like worth like a dozen donuts in one cup. That frappuccino. You drink the frappuccino. So everybody's in there quiet and shit. Nobody's starting no beef, nobody, I ain't think it was real. Everybody's quiet, everybody's... Oh, hold on man, I got my roommate. Uh, so that, that, everybody's quiet, you know what I mean? Everybody's quiet on the, um... On the, uh, what you, what you call, the, uh, the ride to, to, uh, Miss Lady. Right? Everybody did yeah, so So we we on the ride, so my shit just came up, so I said, like, alright, whatever, you know what I mean? Alright, let's get prepared, you know what I'm saying? Let's get prepared for this jail shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. So I went to the fucking um what it was like uh, I went to the fuck, I went to, you no know, check in, I checked in in that motherfucker and then, um, I checked in and, you know, they took my height, they took my weight, whatever, you know, I said we gotta do this shit again, cause we did this shit in downstate, when we first got in downstate, but, you know what I mean? So you took my height, whatever, I'm six feet, whatever. I think I'm six two, but they're saying I'm six feet. I'm six feet, uh, 240 pounds. So I was going to starvation, famine in that motherfucker. Because you only get one scoop of rice. You don't even get much meat. Niggas is fiending for, you know what I mean? We can get to that. So I went to this place. Gave me a bag. I don't know whether they want to call me slow. Like, I don't know my th Nigga, I hitchhiked it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? People like to call people slow. You know what I mean? I'm retarded. I know how to get Well, I don't know how to get there because I'm new to the place. So you, you be able to walk. They got like streets inside the prison. All behind the gates and all that. Behind the walls. It's like streets that you can go walk to a house and you, that's what it is it's like a, a it's like a psych ward but it's next level my nigga it's next level it's like a motherfucking psych ward my nigga a bunch of crazy people got freedom or well when it's time to come out to walk to places so all right this shit ain't bad i, I fucks with this it's not bad well, wow, cause it was all right in downstate, so I said, this shit ain't bad. Nigga tell me, yo, walk this way, that way, this way. So I, you gotta walk on the line or whatever, you know, don't walk. You know what I mean? It's like walking on the street. You know what I mean? You got, you know, like, on the street, they got a white line. And you can't walk past the white line because it's a car and shit like that. So you gotta walk on this line to walk to, uh, to, your, to your house. So I went to my house, bam, I went to my room, I said, whoa, they got my name up there, this is, this is definitely high tech, my nigga, this is high tech, next level kind of shit, my nigga, so I had my badge with me, you know, I'm walking, so, I'm just like, I'm in my room, I'm with this, this nigga, I don't know, he's, in, I don't know whether, I don't know whether he's a um, real roster for him. He had dreads and all, but I don't know whether he's a real roster. 
I don't know whether he's a real roster for him. His name is David. I remember his name is David from Albany. So you got these two white guys. I don't know whether they skinheads. I don't think they skinheads because they're talking to this black guy with dreads. And big and husky, you know, built, fit, you know what I mean? So they all, they're talking. Wow, they talking the shit all throughout the thing. He say he violated parole, whatever. And he, they, they over there talking a the, bunch of shit, talking and talking and talking. I was like, oh man, I gotta hear these niggas talk. Damn. I wanna tell them niggas shut the fuck up. I'm hearing niggas talk all day in that motherfucker. I'm like, I was just like, yo, y'all talking about bullshit. Some of them talking. Some shit, you know. They just talking a bunch of bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So I, 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 um, so me, I, so I went to the TV room and said, "Fuck this! I'm just gonna watch TV. I don't want, I want to hear these niggas talk." I went to the t reception. We went to the reception. What I don't know. Right, right. So, reception room, people cooking, you know, and everything, you know. I, I wanted to go over there, you know what I mean? Because my mind, it's like, yo, if you want something to eat, go ahead and ask them niggas. I'm 240 pounds. I'm, I'm always hungry, you know. I want something to eat, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I want something to eat from these niggas. They making mac macaroni cheese in the microwave. Don't got no stove, none of that. They got microwave in this state. I heard upstate, all them high mediums and high security prisons, they got stoves and shit like that. So they making macaroni and hot dogs and yeah, they making some good shit. Shit, they got white people in that motherfucker. I mean, I mean, white people that not really tough, you know. This is like white, not like white punks. They got like white punk. The most I seen in that motherfucker is like white punks. You know what I mean? And then you got the white people that don't start no trouble. You know, you gotta get your own shit. Cause when I start the asking, no, 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 get out of here, no. I'm like, yo, sometimes I'm like, who the fuck you think you talking to, right? But, you know, at the same time, I'm from a family where you got to get your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your own. You can't ask nobody. You got to get your own shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, even if you did gave him something, but I'm the type of nigga keep giving you something, you still breaking my heart and say no. You know what I'm saying? So, I... Like, all right, well, this is prison. I saw this Puerto Rican nigga with an afro. Uh, he's short. He's like a punk. Yeah, he's definitely a punk. I, I know he ain't do nothing serious. So this nigga a punk. He know niggas in there. Everybody fucks with him. Everybody got his back. All that. You know what I mean? So, I, so I'm in there like, wow. So I'm in there just, you know what I mean? Went to the TV room. I saw this guy that had life. Start talking to me and shit like that. We talking. I ain't know nothing about this commissary shit. You know what I'm saying? This won't be a long video about this thing. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't know. It's a it's a short time, but it was. It felt like a hundred, five hundred years in that motherfucker. But yo, I saw this life. He was talking. You know what I mean? Black a black guy with bald head and all that glasses. He don't look like a troublemaker. He. He ain't on that Doug Dizzle type shit, you know what I mean? So, I, I'm just in there watching TV, watch. We got the news, I can't even watch the fucking news because it's not the, the real news where I grew up watching when I was a kid with my grandmother, you know, Channel 11 and watching the lottery or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We watching some sick shit that happened on the news or whatever. Some some type shit. 
on the news, you know, a bunch of white people. They got some that has this this black girl on on that news. She thick bones, she she got face, but she's real, real big. She need to lose some weight. She need to watch her, how she eat, cause how you eat is not good, you know what I mean? You're gonna have a short life. I know you eating reckless. You know what I'm saying? You eating real, real recklessly and mindlessly. You're not eating with with brain power. You know what I mean? Eat some beans. You know what I'm saying? Eat some broccoli, some mushrooms, or whatever. You eating that whole that that whole other shit, that next level type shit. And you, yeah, you eating crazy. But you look good. But you need to lose weight. But the clothes is making you look good. You know what I mean? If you didn't take your shirt off, take your whole shirt off, I know you would look disgusting. I'm talking about one of the anchors on the nose. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know what I mean? So I'm in there. Then they say, y'all. So I put on my sneakers. Not knowing I had two shirt on. I didn't know I had two shirts. So I went there, the last nigga there. I walked slow. The white guy said the reason why you walk slow because you got you got heavy feet. That's why you walk slow because you got heavy feet. So I'm like whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm talking to the guy, whatever, you know. Me and him was talking, you know, and then he said you can't go, you can't come to the yard tonight. I said why well, I can't come? Yeah, it's nighttime, like about what eight, nine o'clock, and you can go to the yard. So I said, why I can't go to the yard? You got two shirt on. That's why? Because of two shirts? You're not going to take me to the yard because I got two shirts on? I'm a prisoner. Like, let me have my free... Well, let's, make, let's call this freedom and enjoy myself in the yard and do my workouts or whatever. Socializing with people in the yard. You know what I mean? So I, I, she said, Yo, you got to go back. So I went back. I, I was tight too. I said, what? And the Puerto Rican nigga with the, with the afro, he, he sent him back. I said, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. He tried to walk with me. I was, you know what I mean? I'm going to walk slow. I'm going to walk, you know what I mean? He trying to, like, look, you walk slow, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why nobody fucks with you. So I'm like, well, I don't care what I'm gonna fuck up these niggas think. I don't, I don't care what, what none of these niggas think about me, nigga. I walk slow and I'm still smart. I'm good in math, I'm good in science, I'm good in history. I'm good in fucking reading and writing. I want to be a writer, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fucking number. I have think, think because the way you make you feel, people make you feel like, yo, you gotta pick up a crack pipe and smoke, smoke crack. If I would see, if, if God didn't come in my life with these motivational speakers, if I would see a crack pipe with, with crack cocaine and a crack pipe, the stem, whatever, and you pick it up and I would pick it up and smoke it and say, fuck it. Let me smoke this. You know what I'm saying? Smoke the fucking crack pipe, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let these niggas get to me, my nigga. I'm on, I have a mind, nigga. You can throw me in jail all you want, nigga. That, that's what I got to tell you, son. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I went there, whatever. Went to watch some TV, whatever. I said, so, fuck y'all. I went to TV. I had liquid, um, I had liquid, uh, what, what, what is that called? Depico. That shit was getting to me, my nigga. Yo, that shit was getting to me. So I'm in there, you know, bomb bomb with these new cats talking over my cell, you know, talking over my bunk bed, you know. It's a dorm with bunk beds and they're talking over my bunk bed and, you know, just like talking like all day about nothing, about, about bullshit. Like you when you listen, you don't know you all understand what they talking about. That's not next level, my nigga. You think you're on next level, my nigga? Like, you sh sh man, shut the fuck up, man. You just, yeah, man. So I'm like, yo, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm in there like, I ain't getting no rollies in the evening. I ain't getting no rollies. 
Oh yeah, they had a bathroom where you could smoke rollies. I used to go in the bathroom and ask somebody like, do they have a rollie or something like that. Yeah, they got white people in there. You know what I mean? They got this blood. He got a, a big ass fucking buck fifty on his face. You know what I mean? He from um, Rochester. I forgot. He was a crip. You know what I mean? So, yeah. They had some nigga from 40 Projects. He was a fuck nigga. I'm from Queens. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Rochdale. I never, I heard my pops was living 40, 40 people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, that nigga, he, he's a fuck nigga. Like, he, he ain't no hood nigga. Cause hood niggas don't act like that. I used to be in the hood nigga. So what you saying? Nigga, hood niggas don't, if you got a cigarette, get one nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? That's what, that's what real hood niggas do. Hold niggas down nigga. What the fuck are you talking about nigga? Why he then think he all cool and shit and stand? He don't go inside the store. He stand on the wall and smoke his cigarettes. I'm like, wow. Yeah, so I'm, 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 anyway, so they trained for me. So I'm oh the mess hall. Yo, I went to the mess hall. I walked on the. I walked on the on the street. You you get out whatever you the dorm. You go downstairs, you go out, out the building. It's like a house slash build. It's like a house slash building. Only two floors, two story building, and you just go to the door and you just walk down on the. Then you go to the street, but you gotta walk on the um on the line. Like, like it's like a like a bike lane. It's like a bike lane, but you walk. It's like a walking lane. So you walk. Walking lane to all the way to the uh, mess hall. That shit like about like a one three fourths of a mile. You know what I'm saying? That shit like three fourths of a mile. You have, it's a long walk. So you walking there and then I got my son to eat. What, what we had? I, I forgot what we had. You know what I mean? I ate it. it so yeah, this shit tastes tight. Good, you heard? I thought you get extras because this is like, you know, prison, you can, you can eat them. Yo, they do everything they possibly can to starve you. If you want to get something to eat, you got to eat unhealthy foods from commissary, like mat box, macaroni, hot dog. Hot dogs, you get high cholesterol. With the, um, with the, with the um, ramen noodles, you get diabetes and high cholesterol. You got cakes and snicker bars and honey buns and all this other shit in your prison. Like it's none but unhealthy shit in there. And then they got hot dogs and rice and some some sauces. That's a one way ticket from that's a one way ticket to a heart disease. So, you know, they need all kinds of shit. You just you know what I mean, I heard what what I'm hearing from other people on YouTube that if you bring your commissary, they take your commissary from you. They take your commissary from you, so, you know what I mean? Best thing, just eat the food and, you know what I'm saying? Eat the food from what the prison is offering, so that's what it is. So I, I spend that nice, nice, down with the, I forgot what you call that, man. Um, Programs. I think this shit called pro. We got this thing called programs for people that never been to prison. Um, programs is a place. You no, know, I forgot we call phase one. You go to phase one and then they talk. They show them about booty bandits and I never heard that terminology before. But it has showed you about booty bandits and no one get killed, people kill themselves and you know what I'm saying, they teach you about you get paid for you know what I mean, for everybody gets a program and you get paid, you know what I mean? You get paid like three dollars a week. Every you get paid three dollars every two weeks and you be able to buy like ten soups and not, not enough for none. If you're a smoker, you don't got nothing there for smoke. 
like a one day worth of food and you work f like for two weeks in there. I feel bad for the lifeless, my man. Especially you don't got no family and nothing. I feel bad for lifeless. I, that's, 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 to me, that's evidence that the white man is still racist and he still hates us. He still hates, he races and he still hate, he still hate us, us black Americans. The way how he treat us up in that motherfucker. He told me he gonna give me $3 every week, every, not even every week, every two weeks. And you only get like 10, a day worth of food. Come on, my nigga. And you give him no bad food, like nothing. They got like fucking um, Whole Foods. Whole Foods give out healthy shit. Like, you know. You know, they give us pots. Or something like that. Give them some pots and, you know, make some beans or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Give like some pots. Make frozen vegetables. I know you can get that. You give out ice cream. I know you can give out frozen vegetables or something like that. If you, you know what I mean? If you want to get your healthy on, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they got the package on tuna. That's what you just gonna fuck with. The package tuna with honey, but that's it. Package tuna, package salmon, package on um, mackerel in the bag, you know. Mackerel and brown. I made that with rice. That was off the hook. Put some ketchup. You know what I'm saying? That was that was off the hook. But uh, I made it all in the microwave to let you know. So you know. I, um, yeah, you went to phase one, phase two. Then I went to phase two, they had this one black guy, extra, extra tall. Then they had this Puerto Rican, Dominican guy, square-headed. And I, I ain't like, he looked like a troublemaker. He looked like a punk. That's what he is. That's what he, exactly what he is. He acting like he's all good-hearted and all this, but he looked... He looks like a punk. That's what I gotta tell you. That man look like a punk. Word up. He got waves and you know what I'm saying? So I'm in there like sitting down, whatever, you know. Hear these niggas told to tell him to you know to run down about prison, you know. I'm sitting there, so they had this black guy, I don't know where he's from in New York in New York. I don't think he's from New York City. This nigga like saying, you know what I'm saying? This nigga like, yo. <laughs> this nigga like, yo, he's in um, ASAP, whatever you call it, ASAP. It's like a drug program inside. You get like drug counseling, talk about drugs and not using, have coping skills and all this shit. And ASAP is like a whole dorm full of it. And shit do go down there. And he was like, yo. <laughs> yo, my, my dorm is hot and we got this female CO. She drinking ice cold. There ain't no ice in the bucket. So yeah, you get like ice or whatever. You put your hand, you put, they give you like a scooper. You get a scoop, you get like the fluffy, the marshmallow fluff. And you put that, you put the ice in the marshmallow fluff, and you go to the sink in the bathroom to get water. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That, that's, that's another racism and hatred to, hate, hatred towards just black people. You know what I'm saying? Why we can't we get like fountain water or something like that? Why we getting water from the, from the sink in the bathroom? Really? Damn. So, you know, we, we were just like, yo. You know what I mean? We was just like, like, you know, he was like talking about how she getting no ice in the bucket and they made a complaint about it. She said, so I, I forgot what he said, but it was it was funny. He got me he got me geeking up. So that nigga was like, yo, she's over there drinking hot, cold ice while everybody's in there thirsty, one day cold ice and trying to cool down from the hot. You know what I'm saying? So there ain't no AC and all that in there. There ain't no AC, you know what I mean? You're gonna be hot in that nigga, in that, in that bitch. You heard? 
So then I, I finished my phases. So they sent me to my, I finished my phases. Then I went to this program committee. Um, I went to this program com committee, and then when I went to this program committee, so what you want to do? You say you gotta get GED, all right? You gonna have a GED program, all right? Uh, so what you want to work? I said I want to work in the kitchen. I want to work in the kitchen. I want to do some cooking. You know what I mean? Somebody say say like that. You want to do some cooking? You know what I mean? Oh, you want to work in the mess? They were like, "What you mean? What you mean by that?" I'm like, "I just, I want to, I want to work in the kitchen." Like, what you mean? He was like, "Oh, I forgot what I said. That was something about cooking. I want to be a cook." You know what I'm saying? I said, "I want to be a cook." And then they, they gave me a. Uh, they said, "Oh, you're gonna work in the mess hall. All right." So we're gonna give you some garments, some state whites, and you're gonna be working in the mess hall. That's what he said. So I'm like, oh, okay, I can't wait. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be eating, I'm gonna be eating extras, yeah? So I'm gonna be eating some extras and all that. You feel me? So I can't wait to work in the mess hall. So I, they told me this so, so from reception, I, I went to um, one eat. I went to one E as in one egg man, you know what I mean? Elephant man, you know what I'm saying? So, I went to, it was all right, it was good, you know what I mean? Nobody, I saw this Mexican dude, he was my height, and he was, I don't, no, he's a punk, you know what I mean? He, he's a troublemaker or whatever, he, this Mexican dude, He's, he's in my ass. The nigga keeps sweating. He's always in my face about something. And I was type shook because I have a dislocated shoulder. Me and this nigga will get in a fight you know, no matter what. You know what I mean? I will punch that nigga in his face. I don't, I'll punch any man in his face. I'm a real, I'm a real New York nigga. Like, I punch any nigga in his face. You heard? I don't give a fuck who he is, nigga. I bite his fucking ears off. You heard me? So I'm just saying, yo, you know what I mean? I asked him, yo, you have a cigarette? Cause I don't know, yo, you can't get cigarettes. I'm like, am I the only nigga in here asking for a cigarette? Nobody in here asking? Nobody? Probably ain't no smokers, you know what I mean? Nobody smokes. I smoke with here, yeah, I smoke like, I'll let you know now, my whole family smoked. My father smoked so much weed. My father was a weed smoker. He smoked so damn much weed, he spit out black loogies or tar or black loogies out his mother. He, I said, yo, you fucked your whole body up spitting like that. My nigga like, yeah. So I'm like, ask this thing, he said, yeah, I've got a cigarette. So I asked this man with dreads to give me a cigarette. This nigga always had his commissary package. This nigga had juices. This nigga always had juices. and made Kool-Aid or whatever with them juices. See, with them juices, with them, with them strips of juices, you can put like a, a quart of water and you put like two of them in there and it would taste like Kool-Aid. It would take, you still taste the flavor, everything. You know what I'm saying? It still tastes like Kool-Aid. So, I think you used to do that, get some ice, get the caught in the ice, put it in the, um, the quart water pitcher, and you put like two of them packets of juice mix in there, and then you get like, thing, right? So, uh, so the nigga, he, had, he gave me a rollie. So he gave me a rollie, I smoked, in the room, cause I saw him smoking in the room. The nigga with, not the Mexican nigga, the other nigga with the dreads. So, not David. Um, I forgot this nigga name, but he was smoking, right? I was smoking, and the CO came, a dyke's white CO. There's none but white COs up there. There's only one black CO up there, and he, he's on some shit. He called me slow. You know what I mean? I know I can feel your energy. 
got, like you want to call me slow. Like I'm not slow, my nigga. You see me on this camera, nigga. That's why I ain't getting views, cause I look so good. I ain't the only think I deserve. It's too jealous to give me views. You feel me? So I'm like, yo. So this nigga looking like real monkey, Donkey Kong type looking nigga with his hair out. But later on, before I left, this nigga got a hair couple waves, looking kind of fresh, like. Is that the same nigga that used to... I said, whoa, this nigga look tight. Sexy, you know? No homo. I don't play that gay shit. Okay? The woman saw me. I said, oh, shit. Right? I was smoking. I said, oh, shit. And then I let it out. And then I was going to the bathroom or whatever. Right? So the one, I went to the woman. She writing down a ticket. I'm like, yo, miss, I ain't know what's going on. I ain't know you can't smoke in the room. These niggas set me up to smoke in the room and all that. I ain't even know what was supposed to go down. They had some Mexican niggas, they had some Puerto Rican niggas that look like Mexican. They, they type, they like the, they punks, they punks. Bottom line, I know a punk is. They like Mexican, Puerto Rican trash. And they like to fight and all that. They go over there boxing. Hitting, giving niggas blows and shit in the room, in the dorm. They put me in a four man room with other niggas, with four bunk beds. They got one bed to the side for one person, and then by the windows, they got two bunk beds for, two, for four people. So I'm like, nah, so I'm like, whoa. And the fucking the CO box. It's all the way in the front, you all the way in the back. See, yo, somebody would come up to you and be like, what you say, nigga? You said something? I mean, you got mad and said something, and some nigga could be like, what you say, nigga? Say that shit now. Say that shit. And hit you in your fucking, hit, hit you in your fucking head. In your face. Boom. You know what I mean? Punch you right in your face. Why? Yo, I'm telling you, man, that shit is no joke, man. I you know what I mean? That shit is no joke, man. I mean, you know, I'm telling you. It's, I'm just like, yo, please, man. Don't, I, I ain't know. I ain't know. I thought you could smoke in the, in the room. I ain't know. She make a round. She caught me smoking. And then I smoked that. I smoked the rest of them in the bathroom. So, yo, fuck that bitch, yo. I ain't, because I ain't even know that you, you supposed to do that, man. I ain't know that. How should I know? You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that uh, we ain't supposed to do that. So I I just like, yo man, fuck it. I, I went to see the, the sergeant with the white what's his name? Foley? Fools. Yeah, fools. That's his name. I just went to see fools. Fools, whatever. Goose fools. His name is Fools, and I saw him. So what you want? You want off rack? No commissary or no phone calls? I said no phone calls, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm the walk. I'm the only nigga out on the street of the um, prison, of the facility. I'm the only one out on the street, you know what I mean? Some couple people doing their job, work, whatever. I just see a couple people. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, yo, I went back to my thing, I'm laying down. It was sweet, you know what I mean? Then they sent me to the mess hall dorm. You know what I mean? They sent me to the mess hall dorm downstairs. One D, D as in David. Okay? Diaz and David. So I'm gonna play yo. So I'm like, yo, I you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't doing nothing. I, I saw some niggas in there, it was kinda cool, whatever. You know what I mean nobody was sweating me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was cool, you know. You know what I mean? We just doing what we were doing. Then I got in this room with this cat. Short cat. 
Well, not pussy. I'm, I'm still a man. You can call me pussy all you want. I'm still a man. I used to hang out with thugs. You know what I mean? This one cat, this short cat, like about five feet short, and he's a big tough. He's a big tough guy. You know what I mean? He's, a, he's all he think he tough. He roll with guns. He from Syracuse. Wow, I forgot his name, but yo, this thing is, I'm like yo, this thing keep asking me questions, talking to me, keep talking to me, talking. You know what I mean? I'm talking back. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, cause I don't ignore people. So he he thought I was gonna ignore him probably. Cause he kept talking to me and talking to me, keep playing mind games, short ass. Thank you I'm six two, so I I just let like you know, like. You know what I mean? So you know what I'm saying? I know that nigga went in my fucking locker and took my arm. Um, I just had, I mean, I had a letter saying that I had, I had funds. I had, um, like, a month, I had $30 in Rikers Island, and it came out to be $20 upstate New York. In Midstate, and, um, I had, like, $20. And I bought, I bought me some soups, bought me some, I just bought me soups. Uh, I bought some box of macaroni. I bought me some, uh, some oatmeal cream pies. I got a sweet tooth. Um, that was it. Soups, oatmeal cream pies, and macaroni. That's it. So the nigga, so yo, give me a macaroni. And I'll give you a, a, a Chef Bourdain. So, all right, what up? I ate that shit real quick. I ain't even heat that shit up. I just ate that shit. I, 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 I ate that shit, my nigga. Yeah? Because I don't want that nigga asking it for asking it back. Um, They kept fucking with me, like, in my cell. When I said, all right, shoot. Like, they could actually hit me. Like, they kept fucking with me while I was in my cell. It's so, like, yo, my, yo, my nigga, like, you just chill. I'm like, yo, they playing with me. You don't like when in the house of men. You don't play with men like that. You know what I'm saying? They fucking with me, teasing me and shit, ready to fight me and shit. You no, know, I'm like, you know, man, I'm getting the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going. To, I thought they had PC. Now no one had PC in that moment. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They had no love. They don't care about somebody's safety in there, in, in prison. That's a real fact. That's a real talk. Nobody cares about nobody's safety in prison. So you all, you all assed out. You better know how to. Well, fighting is gonna make the shit worse. So if you fight somebody, it's gonna make the shit worse. And then the bigger guy gonna come. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in there like, you know what I mean, going to the mess hall. Oh yeah, in the mess hall. Uh, I, I, I was the, I was online. So what I did was I passed people their cakes. You know what I mean? So I passed people cakes when they get for, for, for child. I used to pass people their cakes, give people their cakes and all that. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm hearing a lot of shit like yo giving these cakes. Is that after work? You know what I mean? Getting cakes and all that. You no, know, eating extra cakes. You know, extra spaghetti. You know, I mean, you know what I mean? I'm getting extra spaghetti, extra cakes. You know, I'm getting extra food. So everybody kept asking me, "Where you from? Where you from?" Everybody keep asking me. I say, "I'm, I'm from 145th. I'm from 145th from Harlem." Well, wow, I, I think I had somebody where they from, and then I saw I'm from 145th in Harlem, you know what I'm saying? And nigga was like, I know this one dude, he's a real dude. To me, he's a punk. You know what I mean? Ice Cube looking ass motherfucker. 
you know what I mean, Dominican black nigga with curly hair. So I'm, I seen this nigga in this nigga from Harlem on 45th. Um, he say he sell crack. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit. I got caught up with some other nigga like, damn, man. So we was good at first we met. We was good. You know what I mean? So I'm getting extra food in there, you know. We had to clean up after work. Niggas said, yo, clean up, man. They want to call me slow and all that. No, I'm not slow. I could clean yeah, they want to call me. People have problems with cleaning up. People are not really good cleaners. You know what I mean? So, you know, people, that's a part of, that's a part of the world. People, people clean. You know, I went to this park today, and the whole park is filled with filth, with a bunch of cans and food, rotten food all over the grass. And, it's all filthy in that motherfucker. You know what I mean? People have problems. I clean up. Nigga, like, word. I don't have no problem cleaning. You know, but I, I'm a little and to let you know, I was on medication. You know what I'm saying? I was on I was on medication. And that shit was that shit was getting out. You know what I mean? So that medication, I was going to child. I couldn't eat nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this macaroni day, like, I, that's my favorite. The macaroni from upstate New York, upstate correctional facilities, New York State correctional facilities. I like the macaroni, especially with a little bit of tomatoes, the tomato sauce in that motherfucker. Man, I love the macaroni, man. Man, that's my shit. Yeah. But I couldn't eat it. I, <coughs> I couldn't eat. I couldn't even eat the right. I couldn't eat even eat the rice. That's it. That's how bad the medication was. So I stopped taking the medication, and I stopped taking the medication and everything. It's a lot of things going on. So I stopped taking the medication until until you taking your medication. I had to go up and show up. And I said, no, nah, I'm not taking it. And then I talked to like, a state psychiatrist, a black lady with glasses. And she was like, you don't have to take the medication. And you don't have to take the side effect medication. Only thing you had to take is a shot. I was like, woo, yes. I'm like, yep, I'm good. I'm like, ha ha. Or I'm good. Just had to take on just take the shot. Or you just had to take the shot and all that. And you wanna have to take the make. You know what I mean? So I told on, I told on so like I said, nigga fuck with me in the cell. I keep I fought I fought the short dude who's wrestling. And I'm like, how I'm not throwing this nigga on the ground like I'm weak, I'm not eating, this nigga's eating, and I'm not eating. You know and I'm saying, even if I'm not eating, I'll put him on his ass, nigga. And I couldn't, like, I'm trying to get this nigga, and he doing martial art. He know how to do martial arts and all this other shit. So he's like a short nigga that know how to do martial arts from Syracuse or whatever. So he they kept fucking with me, so I was like, yeah. So they kept fucking with me and all that. So I, I went to the uh, I went to the CO. Everybody had to go to bed, right? I said, Nah, I ain't going. I ain't going in there. Cause I don't feel, I don't feel safe in my thing. I don't feel safe in there. So the COs came, said, Pack your shit, or we want to send you to the box for refusing to go in your room. You know what I mean? So I, I just packed my shit back to reception. You know what I'm saying? Everything was sweet in the reception. No nothing, you know what I mean? No nothing, nothing went down. Some niggas said, yo, you gotta take a shower. Well some niggas said, yo, you gotta take a shower and all that. So I'm like I'm 
like, ah, well, I'll say, yo, let me just take a shower and get, you know what I mean, make this nigga leave me alone. You know what I mean? And so I took the shower and all that. So I was playing chess with this big, tall nigga. I forgot. I think he's from Rochester. He's tall and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm playing, I'm playing him in chess. I'm busting his ass in chess. He came and beat me. I'm, I'm, I'm way, I'm way nice in chess. You know what I'm saying? So, this nigga, I, I went to back to reception, the back, whatever. I forgot what that called, my nigga. So everything was good, good. Till some new nigga came in there. He, I, he from the city too. Right? Now, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about my safety on the streets. I never saw him in the street in my life. But there's some new nigga came in there. And he got dreads. And... You know what I mean? This nigga got dreads. He's ready. The nigga ran. He ran towards me. about to beat me. So you laughing? You say you about to beat me up. But I forgot there's another nigga. From um, Buffalo, I forgot the nigga name. He got dressed as well. He's a broad nigga. And, um, cause then it had like a five percent nigga. He ain't fucking with the five percenter. The nigga fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo. Me and the five percent nigga was cool. I even met, this is my second time going to this perception, right? So I met this, everybody just came in or whatever. So I just met this uh, Antiguan and half black, half Antiguan. Because I'm half black and half Antiguan. But I didn't let him know. So we, we, he was chilling, chilling, giving me cigarettes. You know what I mean? We was chilling together. You know what I mean? Laying back in there. You know what I mean? It's kind of hectic. It's kind of hectic in there, but you know we was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Till this Buffalo nigga came in, and some new nigga came in, and they ready to take my fucking head off. So one night they asked me for a suit, man. Listen, man, we get three dollars. We get three dollars every fucking two weeks. Every two weeks you get three dollars. I save them suits for later. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just for a bad day to eat it. The beef stew, that's like diarrhea on the tray. The beef stew is a diarrhea on the tray. So I was like, yo, my nigga, I'll just get the soups and you know I mean? cook up some soups and eat some soups. You know? Um I was just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? So this Buffalo nigga asked me, can I get a soup? Who the fuck who you is? Nah. I mean, if I had like a bunch of soups, it's no problem. I'll give you a soup. If I only got like four or five soups, and I'll give you one, I'll be dead ass hungry. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, nah, I don't got a soup. Right? I don't even have a lock on my shit. I ain't have money. I ain't think I had money to get a lock. So I ain't even got, I ain't even took the lock. So I ain't even took the lock. You know You say, to get the lock, you gotta spend like $10. I think it's five. But I think the shit is ten dollars. But yeah, so that's when you first get in. You take, you get your shit. You say you want a lot. You got to pay ten dollars or five dollars for the lot. I ain't got a lot, so I went to sleep that night. Got up, I said, uh, my breakfast. You know, my soup. I missed breakfast. I'm hungry, so I went to the soup, and the niggas took my soup. I said, yo, which one of y'all niggas took my soup, man? I'm looking and where which one of y'all niggas took my soup? Nobody, nobody's paying me no attention. So I, I took a look at that Buffalo nigga, because he asked me yes that night for the soup. I took a look at that Buffalo nigga. I'm like, and they was like, what's up, son? You got a problem? I'm like, oh, shit. I started laughing. <laughs> I was, yo, I was laughing, my nigga, like, Say, what's up, son? You got a problem? I'm like, yo, I, yo, I started laughing, my nigga. I was, I was rolling. So the other nigga, I'm telling you, with the dreads, he just came in. He was like, 
nigga laughing, and he ran, he ran after me trying to beat me up. So I'm like, oh shit, my arm is fucked up, so I ain't trying to get washed up by some nigga, some, some, some real New York type, New York City type nigga, and he ready to take my head off. And I went to, I said, oh, CO, I, we were doing runs to see oh, somebody trying to beat me up, CO. Somebody trying to beat me up. Right. CO said something. You started it. I said, oh, how I started it? CO, I said, oh, I had somebody trying to beat me up, CO. He said, you started it. I said, I ain't start nothing. Niggas trying to beat me up. Name put me downstairs. He, he did something to my ribs on the wall. I was like, oh, shit. Hit the, hit the real rib on my shit. I'm fat. You can't even feel my ribs. But that nigga made me, I caught my breath, my air, he took my air out of my body. I'm like, oh my God. He even put me on the wall. So they sent me back to 1E. I saw some nigga from Queens. He from Basin. Nigga said he got kids or whatever. He's a punk. The nigga is a punk. He got kids or whatever, you know. And the nigga like, Yo, the nigga like, uh, yo, you got, yo, hit up, in that, hit up in that shower, wash, hit up in that shower, get a little quick rub, you know what I mean? I'm like, ah, right, whatever, man, I gotta take a shower, man, these niggas came, I'm like, coming at me. So I saw one nigga that I saw from the reception, you know what I mean, this nigga from Brooklyn, whatever, a West Indian type nigga. Yeah, this nigga, same nigga, giving me pressure. He always pressure, he always in my ass about something. So he giving me pressure, and the nigga putting me under pressure. So the nigga like, yo, take a shower, nigga. I'm like, oh my god, I thought you was cold, my nigga. Why you telling me to take a shower? So yo, take a shower. A bunch of punk. I could have fought the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I could have fought. I could have fought him, but I'm like, yo, I don't feel like fighting. This is present, my nigga. You want to get one being bot? I'm like, yo, why you, why you, I said, yo, go in the shower, nigga. Worm. I'm like, I don't feel like fighting right, right now, my nigga. I don't know. Come on, man. I got a lot of life problems, life issues. I've been in the shower. I'm going to tell you about the shower. So I'm the nigga telling me, yo, go in the shower, nigga. I said, I said, all right, yo, I got to get the fuck out of here. I'm not staying in here. I, I ain't going to I'm not going to let nobody put me under pressure all day. About some shower, you know what I'm saying? So next thing, you take a shower. So I'm like, yo, my nigga, I went to the CO. Cop, CO said, yo, go back to your room. Go back to your room. I said, oh, yo, fuck this shit. I'm gonna kill myself. That's why I tell him. I said, yo, fuck. Yeah, that's what he did. He said, go back to your room. And I said, yo, fuck this shit. I'm gonna kill myself. I escaped out of that shit. I had to find my way about that shit. So, he, so I, I went to, um, Observation about two weeks. I went to observation about two weeks. Almost got banged up in there. You know, always somebody want to bang to my head. Some nigga about what? About six, three, six, four. I'm six, two, so I'm just thinking about six, three, six, four. I know I'm past six feet, but you know, I'm six, two. Nigga about six, three, six, four. And this nigga like, we was talking and I was trying to ask some more kind of questions to start a conversation with the brother. He was at ICP. And then the nigga was like, yo, what's up with all these questions? I said, oh, my bad, son. So I was there. I was basically listening to music, you know what I'm saying? Just, just listening to music, whatever, you know, just eating. I asked the CEOs. They had extra food. I asked the CEO for extra food. The white short CEO. He was like, "Well, I'm gonna eat." I said, "Oh, you doing that racist bullshit? That racist? Yeah, you don't even look good doing that. You know what I'm saying? You don't even look so white people don't know they they shit. You know what I mean? You don't even look good saying that. You don't even look. You think you look good? That's why you doing all that. You think you look good, but." It's 
So one dude, <coughs> so one dude in there, so they got the dude that was bothered. Because one day, uh, he was in there wilding out, and then he came to me and like, what's up? So yo, chill, chill. You know what I'm saying? The nigga but ready. But this nigga from, I know he ain't from the city. This nigga ain't from the city. I think, yo, I don't know where this nigga from. But this nigga ain't, he ain't really from the city. Like, you know what I mean? So, McCalvin, McCalvin, uh, what's his first name? I got his first name. Um, I don't know, I forgot his first name. So, um, so we was like chilling, whatever, you know. I was in there chilling, then they got some other guy in there. Big guy, I was in there by myself. And then you got this other guy in there. Um, this black guy said he just came from, big fat black guy, he just came from a funeral. In prison, they make you come out of prison to go to a funeral for your lost ones. I don't know how easy that is. It might be difficult to get that to happen. You get your chain up, you go to a funeral, get some food, and you go back to prison. So, that's what it is. You tell me, so I'm sorry to hear about your brother, my nigga. Like, you tell me that he had to smack some nigga because uh, he ate his, his fried chicken. Some African nigga, some African nigga went ate his fried chicken, they gave like a box of frozen fried chicken and he ate it when he was sleeping and somebody told him he ate it and then he fucked his ass, smacked the shit out of him. Yeah, his shit. That's why I don't touch nobody's shit. Um I I I just like yo, you know what I'm saying? This prison shit is 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 serious, my nigga. This prison shit is serious. So I came out of observation. So you want to stay here till you get to ICP, or do you want to go back to your dorm? So I want to go back to my dorm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm ready to go back to my dorm. You yeah? know? I wasn't eating lunch in there, nothing. You know what I mean? I wasn't eating lunch. So I went back to my fucking dorm and. The guy that told me to take a shower, he's no longer there, he's in ASAP. That look like West Indian with a haircut and everything, he's in ASAP. So, I was in there, the cross side said, dude came to me, he said, yo, we don't want no problems with you. Only thing you have to do in here, you just have to take a shower. That's all you have to do, right? I said, whatever, I right, just a little bit laid back in here, all right, whatever. I'm trying to watch the football, the football seasons, October. Everybody had the tablets. I said, yo, what happened? I don't have my tablet. Where's my tablet at? Everybody got tablets. I'm asking the CEO for tablets. I want to get a tablet so I can bump some music. The song that was popping to me was Joe Gotti and Lil Uzi Vert. That was the um, Pose. I was trying to get that shit sound type L. I wanted to get that song. And they had this girl, and then they had um, Rick Ross, Port of Miami too. And I like the um, Rick Ross and Dabs, Dash Loaf. Snow and White Lines. Snow and White Lines. I put my head to the sky. Stop. You know, that shit was like, yeah, that shit was type L. I went to get that song. So I was ready. I was like, yo, what the tablet at? So I went to listen to some music in this motherfucker, you yeah? So I went back to my job, you know, on the man, my soul. And then, you know, I asked the dude for 145 with the black curly hair. I asked this nigga. But I said, yo, we got a cigarette? And his jaw, he was in the plane. So the nigga was like, yo, get the fuck away from me. And he was raiding and chasing. I was like, oh shit. I started running. I started running and they had this Puerto Rican nigga thing. I forgot this Puerto Rican, faggot Puerto Rican motherfucker. 
Um, he's short. He pulled his foot out while I was running. I was like, oh shit, you know, watch out, watch out. He pulled his foot out. And um, that's what happened. And then I said, y'all, and then I stopped. And, you know, I'm getting tired. So I stopped. And then he was like, I'm not going to hit you, nigga. Whoa. He said, yo, he said, yo, you're not eating no. So the, the short Puerto Rican nigga, or black Puerto Rican nigga, and he was like, you're not eating no more. Not getting no chicken patties. Not getting no chicken patties. I said, why you can't get no chicken patties? I said, oh my God, they 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 doing the I was like, whoa, I'm like, damn, you know. So I'm ready to get to Ashley Green, you know. I went to one e, you know what I mean. He was in one e. The nigga that chased me, he was in one e. So when we was in one e, you see, it's not one e. One F, something like that. A B C. No, not one F. F is across from one E. A B C D. I went one B. So I'm in one B. So I'm in one B and um I saw this Hall nigga. He say you know the ASAP mob. His name is Brother Man. Brother Man. So me and him and then chilling. You know what I mean? He gave me a haircut. I was looking kind of wild when I have a haircut. So maybe look good for these niggas. Or that might be a bad thing because you're looking too flashy. And nigga wanted really to give you a hard time. So nigga came in my room when I first went there. So yo, you got to take a shower, homie. And the, and the uh, brother man was like, yo, leave that nigga alone, son. Leave that nigga alone. You went to this man and said, yo, your man got to take a shower. So now nah, he all right, son. Whoa, you saw him like, all right, word. This nigga from Harlem, so I'm saying, yo, I'm from Harlem. And he say he's from Harlem. So I got I got one nigga home. I had the, the, the black nigga from 145th, Dominican with curly hair and be black. That nigga, that nigga, he, that was my backup. Well, he ain't fighting for me. I got to fight my own battle. But the nigga, he was, he was, he was my side man too. He was holding me down. You know what I mean? I asked, niggas was cooking. I asked for food. Niggas they asked, asked me, do I want some or nothing? Got one roster for him. They had football. They ain't come to me. You know, all the, they ain't come to me. I'm athletic. I used to run the miles and all that. So I'm in there. Oh, man, I'm in there, man. Just begging, begging, everybody's begging, begging for cigarettes. I, I, yo, man, I just like, I got a raise and everything. And then I say, yo, I ain't buying no soup. I'm just gonna buy three soups and a pouch of tops and hold it down with, with some brownies and hold it down, my nigga. Like, when I got that pop, the pouch of tops, something came. The Puerto Rican nigga, you got a Puerto Rican nigga white, a white Puerto Rican nigga, his hands all puffed with purple and all that. He was like, yo, he, he, he know, he, he, that nigga know I had some. So, yo, can I get some? Can I get a cigarette? I said, all right, yeah, take a cigarette. You know what I mean? I, I was enjoying my shit. I'm going to fuck you and smoke my shit. I'm going to smoke my shit. You heard? Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm going to smoke my shit. You heard? Yeah, so it was, it was like, you know what I mean? Oh, one thing I was doing, I was getting up late to go to class. They said, you get up late again, I'm going to give you a ticket. See, yo, see, don't get up late no more. So I got up one time to class, got there early, at the lunch. At the lunch, they sent me to ICP. Uh, you had to take a shower every day in that motherfucker. It's not good. The dermatologist said it's not good to take showers every day. So I, well, I'm going to take showers every day. So I'm taking showers every day, you know. Talk. They had this guy named Woodhouse. Got this, this uh, 
He's like a jest. He's not retarded or slow. He's just like a, a jester. He make people laugh. A short, funny dude. He ain't about. He's about fighting if you push push him there. But he's like a Kevin Hart, you know. Yeah. So his name's Curtis Henderson. He's from um. He's from Syracuse. Know this nigga named Bucker. I was fucking with him when I was out before ICP. He's a Muslim. He from Syracuse. Uh, got this big from my city, Puerto Rican. He's mu he's Muslim, and he's from the Bronx. His name is Louis Ferreira. They had this um, another Puerto Rican Dominican. When he looked Dominican. And his name is Michael Garcia. Uh, yeah, so we was just in there just chilling about niggas like, you know what I mean? One thing I had a problem about ICP, you can't go out and ask people for cigarettes. If you don't have cigarettes, you cannot go out to the to the back and get a smoke. smoke. You can't smoke in the bathroom. You got some niggas sneak out just to get his, to get a cigarette. I have a problem. I'm like, yo, let me get a cigarette, my nigga. Like, let me ask somebody for a cigarette. Somebody will bust me down. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, man. Now you really had to buy a fucking pouch to go get a cigarette so you can go out there and be, be, be good. Like, you know what I mean? Then look at you like, yo, don't buy a cigarette so you can go out. So he might tell you, no, nah, you can't go out there or some wicked shit. So well, I smoke. So when when can I smoke? Man, don't smoke at all. He say you can smoke, but I can't smoke. Come on, my nigga. That's why I'm telling you, man. This shit, this shit is crazy. Yo, this shit is crazy, man. That's that was the biggest problem. Some of the CEOs want to get physical because I'm there, they mad that I'm there. I, I fuck, you know what I mean? I know, I, I know you can't fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? I know you racist, you know what I'm saying? Word up, I know you can't fuck with me. You know, you know who I am. You know who I am, motherfucker. You know who I am, nigga. You must be out of you. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am, man? Yeah, it's every second break. If you don't got a cigarette, you don't go out there. But one thing that wasn't right to me when they let one nigga go out there, he only got a cigarette, he can go out there and ask. Then he said, yo, you can go out and ask. You can go out there and ask. You don't got a cigarette, go ahead and ask. I'm like, yo, how about me? Nah, he ain't, he ain't playing me like that. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna address that. You know what I mean? I said, alright, yo, I only got a couple months left. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Niggas was begging for cigarettes hard in that motherfucker. I see people. Niggas, just like outside in the pop, population, niggas was begging for cigarettes all day. Well, I was in the mess hall before I got chased and niggas was trying to beat me up and all that. Somebody got punched. A, a Haitian nigga named. What's this nigga named? Francois. Finelli Francois. They punched him in the face out of nowhere. He was just working, asked somebody a question about his job, and just punched him in the face. He told the CO and the CO was like, no evidence. It had a Muslim nigga, he said, oh, the nigga's slow and all that. So, you Muslim, you calling people slow? Niggas really try to eat my food. You know? Everybody asking for cigarettes and niggas trying to get cigarettes out of somebody and people like, stop begging! 
stop banging. I'm like, but you be banging, nigga. You were, I know you was a kid when the, the hottest video game out. You was just sweating. Your mother, please, let me get the game. Let me get the game, please. I know you used to do that, nigga. Stop playing. You, 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 like, you, you act to spoil you. Like, somebody told you stop banging, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? But, um, that's what happened. That's what happened in, in prison. Now, I, I left. I ain't used to bother nobody because I know everybody in there is fake. I ain't, I ain't like nobody in ICP. I ain't like nobody in prison. So I just said, yo, well, fuck me with you niggas. I left. Uh, when I went to the, I ain't went to downstate and go home. I went straight from Miss State to home. That's what I did. And um, they asked me, uh, with, with that, a man asked me, yo, can I get the rest? We went to a, we stopped at the gas station to get something to eat. So yeah, he gave you a forty dollar card to get something to eat. So uh, he asked me, I said, Nah, you can't get it. I said, Nah, you can't get it. I ain't said nothing. I was talking to him, and all of a sudden I stopped talking to the nigga because I know he's gonna ask me for that call. Crack, he's probably a crackhead or whatever, but. That's what happened. 